Well, hope everybody's doing well. Figured I'd get on here and see how many more people I can get to unsubscribe. <laughs> Check your subscriptions. Maybe you're not there. If you're not there, how, how the hell do you know? Right? You're not getting any, uh, I don't know, the video stuff. Right? That's the only gauge I've got to go by to see what if I'm hitting a nerve or if I'm not hitting a nerve. See how I'm making people think about things. You know, one of the reasons, biggest reason I got on here right now was, you know, you have these, uh, comes back to women again. Men ain't much better, but women especially. You know, women today dress more provocative, provocatively than they ever have. I mean, they wear these, I don't know what the hell you call them, yoga pants, stretch pants, whatever, leaves nothing to the imagination. Then they wear just clothes just as, like a size or two smaller than they are. And they got to wear, you know, low-cut tops and all this and that stuff. The temp man. You know, to cause you to sin. Think about that. You're letting your daughters dress like that. Your wives are dressing like that. Your girlfriends are dressing like that. Hell, some of your mothers are dressing like that. Getting pretty sick out there. You know, it says in the Bible, you'll be judged by your deeds. Yep, you'll be judged by your deeds. And by your works. Same thing, really. Deeds, works. It says that in Revelation. Revelation, I think it was 2012, if I remember. But I could be wrong. You know, that's where we're at, people. Evil needs a vessel, just like good needs a vessel. You have free will, so you can choose. You can choose what you want to do with that. You can let the devil in or you can let God in. It's your choice. It's your free will. Just like if you have a problem. God knows you're having problems in your life. He knows everything. He knows your thoughts the whole nine yards. He knew you when you were in the womb. But it's your choice, your free will to come to him. You have to ask for your forgiveness. You have to repent. You have to ask God to intervene and help you. It's not one of those things that's one-sided. You know, this world we have here, this government we have here, they want to control you. God's just the opposite. He doesn't want to control you. If he wanted to control you, you'd have been born with a remote control. But you weren't. Government seems to think you were born with remote control. Oh yeah, that's right. You hear all about the straw man and the and the and the contracts and all this and that when you were born. Your mom and dad signed this, this and that, blah blah blah. You know what? I've heard all that. And people get this out the corporate United States, the corporate this court. You know what? Like I've said before, they got their bullshit laws. The law we created the law. You know what? They can F themselves. I'm trying to be nicer. I'm not trying to go back to some other videos. You, you, you hear the sailor in me. Anyways, it's one of those things where, yeah. You have to enter into a contract. If, if you were born and your mom and dad signed a piece of paper and, and you're entering, 
how the hell can somebody else enter you into a contract? Plus, plus, think about this. You're underage. How the hell can somebody enter you into a contract when you, you're not even conscious? You're not. Even, only thing you can do is scream when you're uh, hungry and wet. Or your little belly's got a bubble in it. You ain't got to burp, you know? I mean, come on. So I've, I've listened to all that before. And people try to make a case for this and that. And my attitude about it is real simple. It's unconscionable. There is no contract. Oh, they, they enforce this, they enforce that. You just tell them to. Right there. You walk into a courtroom and, and you look around and they want to pull that with you. It's like, Judge, my parents signed this. I, I didn't sign anything. I didn't even know. I wasn't even old enough to even understand anything or read anything. How, how can I be this? How can I be that? How can you put me in a capital, in a lowercase, uppercase, I mean, all this and that? Really? Come on. It's total BS. Get tired of listening to that stupid crap. And if the government really thinks they, oh, we did all this, we got this, we got you. It's like, you know, you don't have anything. You got your head so far up your ass, you don't know what you're doing. You got everything screwed up. You people can't even control your own lives and, and they want to control ours. Really? Man. Most of the people, and most of the people in government don't agree with the government. They're there because it's a job. Because you got more secretaries and, and, and people working in the background than you know. It's, it's a few out here in the front that are the no good SOBs. Demonic. And like I've said, you know, the wicked will destroy themselves. That's what it comes down to. They will destroy themselves. So I don't, you know, you believe what you want. But you were born with free will. Government, no, they want to control everything you do, want to know everything you do, want to know every little possible thing they can know about you. Aha, we got you, look, you did this. Aha, you did this. Aha, ha, ha. Half the shit they got the kid, it's all messed up in the first place. Right, it's messed up. They have information crossed and a whole bunch of stuff here, there, blah, blah, blah. It's like, Try to get it fixed. If somebody steals your identi your ID or your you know your identification or you know whatever, try to get it fixed. They tell you you're better off just going to the courts, getting a name change and getting a new social security number, you know, because that's how screwed up it is. And then they sit there and they talk about you know. You know, China or Russia or one of these places is going to hit you with a virus. Going to wipe out the financial system or wipe out the grid, which will wipe out the financial system. And then, what? Oh, well, we lost all your information. People, if you're smart, you keep a copy of every transaction you do on the internet print it out have a hard copy of all your accounts your account numbers everything your home your mortgage your rent you know your your 401 everything just print it out put it in a file your insurance put it in a file keep all this stuff when they sit there and go well we can't prove that well here it is right here well we can't look it up i said this is what you owe me well, but, but we can't, you know, it's like, look, this is your bank. This is your stuff. This is, you know, this is the brokerage firm. This is this. This is me. Look, that's my, that's my government-issued ID. They're going to have problems, aren't they? You can prove everything you're saying. 
walk them into a court. Well, we can't, we can't, we can't. Eh, that's not my problem. You can't prove anything. I can. You know, you need to, you need to, at a, at a young age, teach your children. Don't let your children watch this garbage on TV. Don't let your children give them a computer. Don't give them the cell phone. Don't give them the video games. And monitor everything they watch and listen to. This is how they change society. This is how they change everything. Has it gone on too long too lo and too far? That's up to God. We'll see. You know, I'm no, I'm no, I'm no prophet. I'm no nothing. I'm not even good enough to be doing this, actually. I just get up here and this is how I see it. And people, teach your children. I don't care if you live in an apartment, where you're at, doesn't matter. You know, teach your children how to make a fire. Teach your children basic survival skills. There's a lot of people out here that don't even know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, and you're watching this, or you know people that, that are whatever send them some videos you know maybe the kids will take an interest in it think that's cool well if they do that's great maybe they'll learn something from this maybe the parents will sit down maybe they'll all learn something you know go buy yourself a little little fishing pole you know and they make those ones that collapse down too you know little little plastic box with some little lures and bobbers and you know hooks and stuff in it so you can change things if they break something that doesn't take up much room is light you know? I mean you don't I mean you know nice to have a shovel that folds down you know you could put a little spade in there too a little spade shovel just something to make a you know dig a hole put the wood down in have another hole so it doesn't make a great big what you're basically doing is trying to keep it from people seeing it from a long distance and you're trying to control the smoke to maybe go up beside a tree or something instead out in the middle of nowhere where it's very obvious but you can smell the smoke for miles you try to camouflage it the best you can you know Learn how to fillet a fish. You don't really have to. I mean, you can just cut the thing up and eat whatever, cook whatever, you know, boil it. You can do whatever you want with it. But probably don't even have to cook it if you don't want to. Anyhow, that, that was basically my rant. So y'all take care. Hopefully uh, you're doing well and you'll continue to do well. God's on your side. He's against this wicked stuff. He's against the Jezebel. put a lot of that stuff on TV put a lot of the stuff with the music a lot of that stuff's going into all over the place goes right to the church they get up and they dance around and play whatever and yeah got no place in church at all but you ever wonder why these women wear these Arabic uh, women and stuff wear these long 
robes, kimono, you know, it depends where you're at, I suppose. And they wear veils and all that stuff. So they don't tempt. They don't put temptation in the man. That's all we got going on around us everywhere we go. If you ask people, are you a good person? Oh, I'm a good person. Okay. Ever told a lie? Okay, yeah. Ever steal anything? Okay, yeah. You ever hate anybody? Yeah. yeah. I could go on and on. But right there, you're a liar. You're a thief. You're a murderer. And and if you've had a, looked at a someone lustfully, you're an adulterer. Are you a good person still? Y'all have a good one.